All right, I want to make another video uh, real quick. Um, my nerves are kind of wrecked right now. I just smoked a little weed, and I'm in fucking Oklahoma, so if I get caught even with the smallest amount, it's a fucking felony or, like, two or three felonies around this fucking place, so I just got to be careful all the time. My fucking, I'm just nerve. my nerves are wrecked right now over this shit, but uh, anyways, I wanted to make this video about a theory I'm having about a, a new theory about aliens, which is... Um, I want to um, kind of float the idea or, you know, postulate this theory, whatever you want to call it, that the portrayal of me as Jesus Christ or the second coming of Jesus Christ, the first coming of Jesus Christ, the second coming of Jesus Christ, the, the prophet of his return. You know, I just want to think about something here for I want to I want to postulate a theory here. Okay, this is it's kind of crazy. Okay, but to me, it's almost sounding like a glitch. Okay, and it's almost sounding like something that is beyond the power of a mind to create. Now, I'm starting to think this thing is pretty intricate and so far fetched. I mean, we're talking about the fulfillment of of prophecies and shit like this. All right, I really kind of think maybe that well if it is a weapon it's a damn good one because it does put a fucking big target on your back but I also think that it could be something along the lines of um, something that a computer system that is so accurate in its predictions you know what I mean because they could never sit down and know just a mind. You know what I mean? Like, just think about it this way. Your mind, you do what you do on a daily basis. You're you're helping microchips evolve at an exponential rate. You don't know that. But the people that go to work every day working on microchips, they've got a specialty in one aspect of what they do on a daily basis. You know, it's all um, it's all about the economy and the flow of things and everything. So... What I'm trying to say is this, that kind of plays into my point as well, but what I'm trying to say is this, even the people that create these advanced machines, they don't understand how the whole thing works. They understand a very small aspect of that thing. The computers, okay, that the, the govern, um, well, they don't govern, but the computers that, cre that these aliens have created, they understand an aspect of it, but they don't understand what's going to happen a thousand years in the future. They probably don't even understand what's going to happen tomorrow, you know, but I think that their computer can understand it. And I think that, you know, it's almost like their computer knows, the computer knows kind of like what my point that I was making that, you know, your job you do every day has something to do with microchips, you know, I mean, you don't know that, but a computer will know that, the government is the most important thing. So it's going to prioritize that. So if it's doing this, then it's probably doing it because they themselves are having problems within their own government. So as this self-preservation mechanism, they seek a, a person outside of the this, this species because they can't, it won't choose one of them because it's designed to protect them. You know, I mean, they've created these computers the computer was designed to serve mankind, and as time goes on, it, it evolves in that capacity. And eventually it gets to the point where it's doing everything predictively for you to predict the future of your life, to even trick you if it needed to. And so if it needed to trick you, it's almost like that movie, you know, where they talk about that, the galaxy, I can't remember, and the, there was the president of the galaxy and all this, and then they had to find this giant supercomputer that had all the answers and stuff, and they, and this, this giant massive machine, and so something like that, and so eventually, what it does is, it goes outside the species, and it finds this person who's going to end up you know, being this prophet, or this person, or prophet, or Jesus, or whatever, you know, it almost doesn't really care, it just knows that it needs to trick you it's got to trick you into believing that this guy is the one. And it, all it is is just an arrow that points at a person who's talking the truth. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that 
it hasn't done it to another human being. I mean, they say there's going to be many men and women who see this vapor smoke stuff. I think this is going to happen to a lot of people. You know, I'm just one person out here. It's probably going to be like 50 or 100 or whoever can come into the limelight enough, you know, about being honest, like me being attacked by people who claim to be wolves and sheep's clothing. I mean, stuff like that. But even that, just having a message about, well, you can't do this to people, and, you and you know, really, you got to have gold as money, and, hey, why don't you start a gold currency, and, you know, why don't you, you know, uh, that'll really fix it, and, you know, and, you know, knowing thousands of years in advance that I was going to, I was going to say that, you know, and I was going to tell you how to operate the gold currency, you know, and that's what I do on my other channel, I've got a bunch of videos about how we can really make it work, and it, you know, it's just, it, I'm not trying to say it's that, but it's just, it's just stuff like that, like, um, you know, um, like, uh, you know, just the lack of bureaucratic influence and just simple minded shit, you know, really, I'm not trying to say there's some kind of great thing about what I have to say. I was just like, you can't bail out banks, you know, capitalism, um, you know, you should, you should denote your currency transactions by something other than where the government will, I mean, and you think, and aliens know this shit, and I'm, I'm telling you, man, look how advanced we are, you know, you don't know how fucked up they might be, you know, that's what I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to say this is necessarily happening, okay, I think it is a little far-fetched, but I'm just trying to say, it's possible, you know, and I think it's more possible than you probably think right now, because you're probably sitting there thinking, this is stupid, and I'm telling you, I think it's not stupid, okay, because you are fucking stupid. Look at the goddamn... Look at this. I'm looking at a TV screen right now. It's got a perfect image of these people. I can look at them. They're live. They're moving. They're, I can hear their voices. I, these people are nowhere near me. This hasn't even happened any time recently. This is like magic to somebody who lives 300 years ago. You know? I mean, XD movies. The sound that we get. You know, the technology that we have today. The rate at which it evolves, you know, is so rapid. I just hope people start to think about how rapid the evolution of technology is. I mean, oh my God, do you even know? Look at how stupid we are. I swear to God, these aliens could not be any farther than a hundred years in front of us. A hundred years. It's not any more. I know I'm losing y'all right now. I'm just trying to tell you. It's probably not any more than a hundred years. Okay? It might be a couple hundred years. I'm just saying. And what I'm trying to say is this. I don't know what I'm talking about here, okay? I don't have all the answers. This is probably a long, long ways from the truth, okay? But I know that one of these fucking theories has got to be accurate. And this is one of them, okay? This thing, it's either a weapon or... It's a way for their computer system to trick them into thinking that I am some kind of prophet, religious person, to galvanize them because they're in too much disarray to be controlled. You know, and it's looking for a way to control them. It's looking for a way to get them to see that really there's only one way to advance your, your technology. And probably their technology got so advanced that... The technology got so advanced that they just gave up on capitalism and trying to advance it any further. They don't give a shit anymore. They're stagnated. And the technology is now going to them and saying, Hey, that right there is uh, Jesus Christ. And he's trying to tell you something right now. And I wish you'd listen to him. Look at all these prophecies he's fulfilled. And they're sitting there and they're going, Wow, this might be really true. He is right about that capitalism. That... That might be what we need, guys. Hey, y'all know this might be what we need. And, and, you know, and then they're going, and then they're starting to think about it. And they're like, damn it, we got to, that has got to be it. Because, and it gets them, because it's got their hope involved in it. And they're starting to believe in the afterlife. And they're starting to believe in, in, in God and all this. And and, and then the, and then they'll do it, you know. And the, and the computer's sitting there going, okay, finally, I did it. But the computer doesn't even think anything. It just did what it was. It just did what it was designed to do, you know. But at the same time, I think that um, 
that it would never it would never put one of them through it you know it would never put them one of, one of them through it you know i mean there's a reason that this is going on across the galaxy okay a long ways away it's it's just a theory you know and and if it isn't that then it's a way for them to set me up to be targeted because i'm smart which to me it does sound kind of stupid you know i'll be honest with you um but it makes sense. I mean, I have theories that kind of like go together and make this kind of make sense a little bit. But I don't fucking know what's going on. I'll just say this, okay? I'll say this. It's got to be one or the other. I mean, doesn't it? I mean, either it's nice or it's mean. You know, I mean, it's either one or the other. You know, it's either... No, it can't be one or the other. It's either nice, mean, or neutral. Okay? If it's nice, then then... You know, it's just really strange behavior. And I think we need to be worried about them because they've been out in space too long and maybe destroyed their own planet and just have gone crazy. Now, if it's mean, then it's about portraying me as something to be killed. But if it, and that, that, you know, seems possible, you know, because still it it worked, you know, for Jesus Christ. I mean, they asked him to be killed over a murderer. So yeah, it worked, it worked, but it's either that or, you know, it's about, um, you know, the neutrality thing of, you know, it's not really about anything but trying to trick them, you know. Um, so, anyways, I don't know what the hell it is. I just knew that I had to, you know, tell you guys my thoughts on this and, you know, the possibilities of this and that. And as it came to me, I was just like, you know, I just got to throw it out there at least 